No one's wicked like us, no one's thick kid like us, no one's slimy and cruel and big thick kid like us. <laughs> I always thought focusing on stuff like fun or creativity was a bit frivolous. So I concocted this. No. <laughs> Hello, Frog and the Mooey Mouse here, back again with the sequel to Monster Prom. Today we're going to be playing Monster Camp. We already did one run through already and honestly, in my opinion, I thought I thought that was pretty bad. It went horribly. I got rejected by the Demon Prince of Hell. Who knew? I guess that means I have a free pass to heaven. Haha! <laughs> 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 Alright, we're going to try again. This time I'm going to try to go for Aravi right from the beginning. Let's see how we do. And I think, uh, Frog, who are you going to go after today? I'm gonna go after Joy, you know, gotta get that big titty goth GF. The, 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 the sexy vampire chick. No, I get it. I totally get she's it. Not a, she's not a vampire. She's she a not? witch. But, oh! Yeah. Oh, that's bad. I assumed her identity. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> Well, luckily, I'm not the one trying to go after her. So for those of you that uh, who are not familiar with the sequel to Monster Prom, Monster Prom, the goal was very clear. We wanted to find a date to the prom. But today, we are going to camp, and we are trying to look for a date to gaze <laughs> at the stars. Ah, Camp Spooky, the stage of some of our dearest summers. Back then, we were young and unafraid. With school far away, everything seemed possible as the sun embraced us on our way to camp. Summer has that distinct power, doesn't it? You live for the days while the nights inebriate you with possibilities. Alright, I had better luck as Ghost Boy last time, so I'm just gonna be the embodiment of fear itself. That's what I found out he is. It's pretty uh, intense, eh? I thought he was like a shadow man. Shades on fire. That's look. That looks bold. I wanna look hot for my nerdy girlfriend. Um, <laughs> Philosopher Stone. That is not bold. But it is creative. Maybe the stories. I mean, I am a writer. <laughs> Pokemon's trading card game? Yes, I know how to pronounce Pokemon, but if you can see here, that picture says Pokemon's. I will... I'll do that for you. It's a noble title, I think. One might say that the Monster Prom had hardened us on the highs and lows of life. But no, in love we're always absolute beginners, and summer camp was no different. No one talked about it, but the idea of a summer love loomed over our heads. Everyone's just ready for a fling, eh? Yeah, so chicken seems like a reasonable answer just because, you know, they're always the evil ones in all the games and you're not even allowed to kill them. So yes, chickens. Well, also they can kill you. I'm gonna go with cats. I think that's the obvious answer. It's oh yeah. Familiar. Yes! Nice! nice. Surprise! <laughs> Best nerd girl or- Yo, I found out she's the slayer in Monster Prom. Mm-hmm. Yo, I love it. She, we're obviously meant to be- I don't even mind the third wheel. <laughs> Oh man, I love chickens. They're five to six pounds of pure feathery rage. <laughs> She's not wrong. One time, I was ransacking this town for gold and loot, and I made the mistake of griefing a chicken too many times. And a whole swarm of them attacked me. I barely made it out alive. Yep, that sounds right. Damn, I wish I'd been there. I could have gotten the whole thing on video. You've got some weird priorities, Hex. At least Mooing Mouse understands me. Oh wow, we already vibe. Oh. <laughs> oh, you like cats, Burb? So do I. Hello. They're so fun and bendy, and they've been the oh loyal companion to witches for hundreds of years. They're bendy? You mean wanna... they're liquid. You I... mean they're liquid, right? I don't I don't want to know what she meant by that. <laughs> Maybe that means you could be my loyal companion? Perhaps the universe is trying to tell me something. Ooh. <laughs> I should consult my divination cards before I make any promises, but I look forward to seeing more of you at camp. Oh, look at that winky face. Ooh la la. That day in the haunted manor, you find a bunch of ghosts playing craps. You're terrible at gambling, but that's never stopped you before. You face what? off against. What is craps? I don't know. <laughs> I love how the embodiment of fear is now afraid himself. Look at his tumor. Even a tumor's <laughs> afraid. Slam all your chips down on the table and cry out, I bet my immortal soul. Everyone gasps. And then someone says, dude, chill. We're just like playing to have fun. Nobody's even betting real money. Not they would have any. Oh, you're not used to such low stakes betting around camp. Honestly, it's a relief. You bet plus two boldness against the champion instead and you win. Nice. You spend the day learning new skills with monster scouts in order to earn badges. You earn a badge for healing a wound only using the bark of a tree. Oh. You're in a badge for writing poems in iambic pantometer. Ah? Uh? Pantometer. 
You're on a badge for building a blackberry using only real blackberries. That's more badges than Gary won. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Completing all those unexpected and probably useless lessons earned you plus two creativity. Check out those fiendish muscular villains. They're so They're cute. clearly planning some kind of evil scheme. Just look at them. They're using that sword to make adorable origami animals? They're adorable! They are! <laughs> yep, Morty and Demetri are doing some adorable and maybe deadly? Arts and crafts. Before long, they move on to their next BFF activity. Do I get to voice them? Grooming an alpaca. Yeah, you do. They don't look like this, actually. I'm sure you oh. know. Oh. Grooming an alpaca. Dimitri puts a party hat and a poncho on an alpaca, and Morty is busy weaving beads into its mane. They are having so much fun! Are they high? There's no way they're doing this. Then you watch as the two, uh, th these two shirtless goofballs cook up some homemade raspberry jelly. Somehow they fashion some fancy jelly beards and then wear the beards? Sticky but sexy. He, his face is so cute, I love his hat. <laughs> this is so frustrating, I can't tell if these two are doing evil deeds or if they're being stupid. And I'll look like a total idiot if I intervene when there's no evil to defeat. The answer is yes. I can't believe I'm saying this, but... Barb, what do you think? How do we tell if Morty and Dimitri are actually being evil? An evil villain song? I don't know, Burb. That sounds kind of off-genre, <laughs> but I guess Dimitri and Morty skew more musical than I do. Wait, I think I hear highly singable music? Oh my god. Where's that music even coming from? <laughs> Let's go check it out. You enjoy stealthily sne sneak closer. Sure enough, you catch Dimitri and Morty breaking out into a classic Disney villain song. Oh god, no. Oh. No. Oh, are you ready for this? Oh god, no. Ah! <laughs> Ah, oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm not prepared. Those those, those assless chaps, man. Ah. Those booty shorts with oh. hard cutouts. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Um, how's a cow sound? Uh, gosh, it disturbs me to see you, my friend, covered with raspberry jam. But I know that these afternoon arts and crafts are a critical part of our plan. I think they're singing. I can't come up with a tune. I'm sorry. I'm just That's gonna make it a limerick. Read it. Yes, my dear friend, it may seem we're unwise, spending all day in such mirth. But I promise these beers, this llama, these cranes will help us to conquer the earth. That's awful. I'm not doing this ever again. Just you know. <laughs> just read it normally. It's so good. True. We'll rule the whole world with our cruelty and show off our f bods. We'll shatter our... F well, we'll shatter our foes with our washboard abs and then make them massage our quads all right god they're so erotic yeah it's the gaston song <laughs> it's the what <laughs> it's the gaston song i don't, actually don't Beauty know Beauty and the beast i don't know that song do you want to do it <laughs> uh, i don't know the words either it's like no one's wicked like us no one's thicked like us no one's slimy and cruel and big dicked ah. like us <laughs> Gotcha, boys. Burb and I are just going to nag with you now and save you the trouble. Curses. We've been foiled again by the classic villain trope of singing a song that communicates your evil intentions. Damn my perfect pitch and love of rhyming. Let, let's beat the Mothman. Aha. Hello, Mooey Mouse. Yes, say it's whatever. Good. <laughs> I apologize, I'm in a bit of a mood today. Nothing seems to cheer me up. Aw, that's too bad. Would a little gossip be enough to lift Moss's spirits? Well, perhaps. But only if it was really, really good gossip. Damn, really good gossip is a bit of a tall order, but hopefully you can rise to the challenge. Choose a player to strike with your gossip skills. Well, obviously, burp. <laughs> Any of them? Strapless, backless, frontless, just- hello. Beyblades. Yes. Live. For the gossip. Ooh, wow, that was incredible gossip, Mooing Mouse. My mood is now so much happier. Ha, I must say, I can't wait. Huh? This moth's voice line just now sounded like it would have it would have come straight out of Hollow Knight. Oh, really? Yeah. I can't wait to tell this to everyone whose spirits need uplifting. Thank you for everything. Your friends circulate the gossip quickly, and within minutes, someone approaches you. Hey, have you heard about the time Burb competed in a beauty pageant last year? The competition was insane. Burb wore his sexiest outfit, a strapless, backless, frontless dress. The judges were totally impressed. 
Burb advanced to the talent show next, where he showed off his skills by playing Beethoven's Fifth Symphony on Kazoo! <laughs> Backwards. The crowd went nuts. Then in the final round, the judges asked every contestant the same question. If you became president, what would you give all citizens to end income inequality? <laughs> some contestants promised money. Others said they'd give away houses or vacations. But for some reason, Burb answered, a lifetime supply of Beyblades. Ho! Oh. You know, maybe you fight with them to win everything. Yeah, with Beyblades, you can rule the world. <laughs> the judges loved that answer and Burb took last place in the- Oh, what? I'd bear that in mind if I were you, because as we all know, a, pa a beauty pageant is the truest judge of a person's character. Burb's reputation will never be the same, that rumor earns him for fun. Wow. Oh. Nice. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Weekend arrives and so it's time to visit Juan, the small magical Latino cat. Are you gonna voice Juan this time? Yeah. Alright. Look who's here! Welcome to my barn! Oh my goodness. Really, I don't know who in their right mind would take such a risk. I guess you have more thirst than common sense. Anyway, check this drink out! Do but I want the sex on the beach? Oh yeah, last time it was fun, right? I it gave think you so, fun? yeah. No idea okay. if I got the recipe oh, right, otherwise you always have the mystery box. Sorry about that. I'm gonna take this. <laughs> yeah, no, totally. I was just testing your common sense. Ho ho ho. you passed. Your prizes. The tricky jars. I love Juan's art. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, fantasy ale. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. It looks cool. Yeah, it no, totally. It I was just cool. testing your common sense. Time to drink, drink my drink. Drink, drink, drink. Ah, the sex on the beach. I brought this drink to the next level, as you can see. <laughs> Give it a try. I assure you, it'll be a fun ride. Your voice is so good. Uh. I always thought focusing on stuff like fun or creativity was a bit frivolous. So I concocted this. No. It makes you focus on much more important stats, like belly rubs. You're welcome. Oh, okay. but I get tipsy very fast. What I get? Oh. Hope you can stomach oh, that. Yeah. Happy trails. Wisdoms. Oh, sick. Wisdom, strength, dexterity, charisma, man. Oh, sick. This yeah. will help me with uh, Aravi, yeah? Aravi. Lance Lockwood, <laughs> the protagonist in my first short move short story. Watch now if you haven't already. <laughs> the the uh, link will be up here in the top right. Eh. My, it, my, my finger won't come out. But yeah, it's top right. There you go. My fist will point there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, definitely not Lance. The man died. Yeah, I said a Robbie. Can I just skip turn and take a nap? Yo, I love the voice. <laughs> you just said is there a place where I can just do nothing? Listen, Axorax. I know things ended badly between us, but can you please just give me back my Fleetwood Mac t-shirt? I know you know which t-shirt I'm talking about. I didn't leave multiple t-shirts in your lair. No! No, there is definitely no need to discuss it. <laughs> Just give her the do shirt. Not, do not portal here. Suddenly, a magical portal appears. An objectively sexy centipede person emerges, and they are giving off palpably villainous vibes. Joy, baby, I've come to speak with you in person, just like you wanted me to. You look as lovely as the day I wrapped you in my bug silk. Enough of this. Ugh. Or meet my ex, Axorax. They're a magically evil centipede person I defeated back in season three. Oh my, she got with her villain. Oh, you make me sound so evil, Joy. But that's all in the past now, gorgeous. We should focus on the present and this very important t shirt debacle. Why would this man even want the t shirt? He doesn't even have sleeves. Look at that. I don't know. It looks know. like he purposefully ripped like three pair, three t shirts to get those sleeves <laughs> on his arms. All six of those arms. Look at that. I feel like he just wants it to gaslight Joy and like have an excuse. This poor woman. Doctor. Why don't we ditch this third wheel? You and I can go out for coffee and talk it over. Or perhaps we can enjoy a romantic dinner. Do any restaurants around serve pre-chewed aphids? Nope, you gotta find your own. Uh... Ugh, Axorax, if I go get one coffee with you, do you promise to immediately hand over the shirt? Show me the shirt right now, before I waste my time. Oh, yes, let me check inside of my carapace. Oops, silly me. Looks like I forgot to bring the shirt. Guess we'll have to keep hanging out until my portal spell recharges. 
What an ass. Typical. I know, right? What an ass, bid, ha. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you enjoy going to the police station and file a missing t-shirt report. Uh, <laughs> it does sound like it should be creative. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. That ends part one. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Monster Camp so far, and what you think will happen to Joy's shirt. Peace! Bye -bye.